Guys, I am so excited. First off, we are heading to a coffee shop to get coffee with a very special person to us. One of our very close friends is here in Bucharest. So we're gonna meet her for coffee. And then after that, we are going to walk to the train station and take a train to Brasov from Bucharest. I think we're on the right carriage. It's raining, so today we opted for Uber. And it's also very affordable here, if we haven't said that already. Get an Uber, because there's Ubers here. Uber pickup is, we're gonna call an Uber. Now we're taking an Uber. An Uber, Uber is in Romania. We got a couple croissants, and we got a couple flat whites, and we're just gonna enjoy these. See you, Mal. Bye. <laughs> Me and Mallory and Hannah have known each other for like eight years from back in college. We all went to college together. And to run into her now here in Romania, it's just the coolest thing. We love you, Mal. Now we are making the about 10 minute walk to the train station. The barista told us that it was a four minute walk without luggage, but we definitely have luggage. <laughs> gonna be on platform three, so we gotta find three. You can purchase your tickets online, but it doesn't allow you to pick your assigned seats. It does show you how many seats are available still leading up to the day of departure. So, I did not check and see which uh, train we were on or what seats we were in. I didn't know it was assigned, so, but it is, so I think we're on the right carriage and I know we're in the right seats. Our tickets in second class were 121 Romanian lei, or $23.60 USD total, which included any fees for our bags on the two and a half hour train. There's a first class car, but for the price being almost double, there weren't too many differences between the classes. However, that's not always the case. The first part of the train is mostly through the smaller cities on the outskirts of Bucharest. There are seven stops from Bucharest to Brasov, including a town we plan on visiting in a few days. So stay tuned for that. One of the most beautiful places I think I've ever been. I'd love to see a bear. That'd be cool. What was I thinking? <laughs> what am I doing? So it's pretty tight in here, and there is what appears to be a plug. It's about as basic as a bathroom as it gets. I'm hoping we get to pass through the Carpathian Mountains for the last hour or so of the journey. You should try to sit on the left side for the best views of the mountains though. These mountains are incredibly lush and full of brown bears. The guys who were sitting in our pod with us told us all kinds of stories about the sightings and the towns in their area. Although it is good to be aware of the bears, there are also incredible trails and camping spots throughout. The views from pictures we've seen are pretty epic. Good to meet you, brother. Take care. Take care, brother. We made it to Brasov. It was a smooth train ride. We hung out with some people, chatted it up. It was a ton of fun. Uh, so that's why we didn't have our vlog, our faces in the vlog, mostly because we were enjoying company. It was so fun talking to everybody on the plane, on, on the plane, on the train, whatever we were just on. I never traveled Europe like in college for, I don't know, semester abroad or anything like that. But this is what I imagine when people say, oh, I went on a fantastic train ride through the Romanian countryside in summer. And I met all these cool people that were backpacking and doing all these crazy things. That's what we just experienced. And it was so fun. <laughs> Now we're gonna call an Uber to take us the rest of the way. All right, I think we're on the other side of the square. What? Guys, Brasov is beautiful. Is oh so my funny. gosh. and the weight of Hannah's bag is not. <laughs> if you stuck around with us throughout this vlog, then congratulations, you've made it to, in my opinion, the best part. I've been really excited for months over this Airbnb, not just because of its location, but because of the aesthetic too. And this is the most Transylvania type Airbnb 
I could ever ask for. Let's give you a quick tour. So this is the living room. We got a big couch. I'm pretty sure it pulls out. We've also got a really big television. This is the entryway right here. Apologies for the bags. Big television and an outlet right here with a Wi-Fi extender. The Wi-Fi is not super great, but it's not bad. And then if you come around here, we've got a kitchen stock with a coffee maker, full-size refrigerator. In my opinion, that's a full-size refrigerator. And then we got a stove. And then also, if you'll notice over here, there are mirrors. You can't see through this, but that's good because it opens the place up a little bit. And then we've also got little on off switches, as you can see. They've done a really good job of pointing to you where the on and off switches are because they're a little bit hidden. Over in this corner, you've got outlets up here, which is super great. We've got a mirror right here and we've got a dining room table. And then if you go up here, this is the landing to the bedroom, but these steps are super, not super narrow, not super steep, but like you definitely need to pay attention to what you're doing. So when you step up, you can just grab right here, kind of pull yourself up a little bit. And that brings you into the bedroom, which is also a really cool aesthetic. There's a mirror right here that kind of opens it up a little bit. Very large bed. You got a huge skylight right here. So you'd be able to get a, get up with the sun, I guess. You got a little rack as like a little closet area. And we've also got a really great full-size bathroom with a washer, which is something huge for us because we don't always find that in one of our Airbnbs, as well as a really nice, really pretty shower. And then obviously a regular size toilet because you know, most toilets are regular size. But all of this got us six nights, so seven days for $268. $268. We think that's very manageable, and for this value, it's great. All right, I hope you learned something about the train ride between Bucharest and Brasov. I apologize for not getting more content on the train. Unfortunately, we just didn't do a good job of that because fortunately we had great company. We don't get good company all the time. It, sorry. I mean, we have great company. Our company is all we need with us. But thank you so much, Luca, Stepan, and Andrew for making it such a fun ride. And then also shout out Mallory Henley, one of our best friends from college. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and see us in Bucharest. It's been a whirlwind of a day and it's not even five. So we're gonna wrap things up here. We will see you in a couple days when we are exploring the city of Brasov. So stay tuned and we'll see you in a couple days. Hello.